Alright guys, welcome to another episode of The Clueless Drinker. Today we've got a beer from Camber. Now the only other one that I've tried is the IPA, which I it was one of the first things that I reviewed on the channel. And oh my god, was that an amazing IPA. Well, today I've got another one of their beers. Today is the Coffee Porter, which just sounds so tempting. I love my coffee. What is life without coffee? Coming in at 5.4%. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous artwork on this one. I love the colour scheme. I love the Camber logo. There's the Camber bottle cap. And uh, yeah, just look at that image. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, this goes out of date or best before date of the 30th of the 3rd, 2016. And um, yeah, I will quickly read you what it says in terms of ingredients because there is some English on here. Uh, ingredients, beer, water pale and dark barley malts, hops, top fermenting yeast and coffee. And the hops used are Goldings, Cluster and Fuggles. Basically a cocktail of coffee, cocoa, caramel and bitter chocolate. How delicious does that sound? It's coming towards October, so it's perfect weather for drinks like this, I feel. Um, porters are still a variety that I've yet to really experience. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i slowly rarely becoming fond of stouts and that sort of thing. But um, yeah, a coffee porter sounds absolutely fantastic. Now, this hasn't been chilled because I think with beers like this, I'd much rather, rather, rather drink them at room temperature. So I'm going to pour a little bit and oh my lord, that is pouring really, really nicely. That seems nice and thick. Now, colour wise, in the glass, it's pretty much jet black. As it was pouring, I don't know if you could see it on camera, but it was a nice deep brown. Pretty much the same colour as the label, just a little bit more richer and a bit more chocolate. Poured with a really nice tanned head, just about under one finger's worth of head. Doesn't seem like it's going to be dissipating too much more. Sort of ruby, oaky sort of hue at the bottom of the glass. So, let's give this a sniff. Wow. I'm getting fruity notes in there. And then you hit with an absolutely gorgeous bitter coffee. You've got those caramel notes in there. There's a nice bitterness there. A nice amount of chocolate in the sniff as well. And it's got those sniffs of like nuts that have been soaked in like a rum or something like that. I said initially that there was fruits there. I don't know where I got that from. I was just hit with like the hoppy fruitness, but that's died down a lot. I don't know whether that was just because it was just coming out of the bottle. Who knows? But um, yeah, that smells so appetizing, so nice and rich. Let's get this poured. Hopefully this will be, look at that. Just look how nicely that is pouring. You can't really see because of the reflection of the light, but it's pouring nice and thick. And now it's got just over a finger's worth of tanned head and um, yeah that is a sight to behold so anyway let's dive in cheers the first thing that you get on the taste and I've got to be honest it's a lot more subdued and toned down compared to the sniff but you get those nice deep coffee notes um, I wouldn't necessarily say espresso maybe just a little bit less sharper you're definitely getting those chocolate chocolate notes as well almost as if you've um, sprinkled a little bit of cocoa into your coffee and mixed it around a bit uh, it does taste like a black coffee but not too overpowering yeah, I'm not Rarely too sure what else I'm picking up with this one, but it's going down a treat. Yeah, you're getting those caramel notes in there. It almost tastes like you've gone to a coffee shop 
and you've got a, quite a few syrups in your coffee. It does a taste syrupy and sometimes I find with coffee syrups they have that artificial sweet taste to it. This isn't a sweet beer by any stretch of imagination. It's bitter, bitter, bitter. It's well balanced, it's nice and calm, it's nicely subdued. There's no exciting flavour demanding your attention, which I rarely like. And what ABV is this again? This is 5.4. I'm not so much getting an alcoholic taste there, but I am getting a very slight warming in the throat. Now let's have one more taste because I don't think I've really hit this one on the head. The thing, the stuff that I'm missing with this one. No, I think they've perfectly described it on the bottle itself and it's all very well balanced. Um, this is only the second Camber beer that I've tried and I've got to say Camber Brewery could be a friggin' jet. Just going off this and the IPA that I've had, Camber is hopefully going to be a very, very solid brewery, even with the more traditional Hellers, Vice Beers, Dunkles, that sort of thing. I am really enjoying this one. Like I was saying, there's no unique flavours there. There's nothing shouting out. There's no star of the show. But at the same time, nothing counteracts Everything complements perfectly, and that is a very satisfying autumnal winter drink right there. And if you love your coffee, you're going to absolutely love this one, because, I'm, like I'm saying, there's stuff that I'm probably missing due to my inexperience. But all I can say is that this is a damn good coffee porter. And in the mouthfeel, it's almost like a coffee. It's like you've cooled down a coffee and it's got beer in there but obviously pouring beer into a coffee is probably going to be a lot more nastier and i really really enjoyed this one camber i've knocked it out of the park once again uh pick this up from beretta you're probably going to be drinking this at the end of a meal uh probably not even going to have a meal at all you just want to cozy up with the tv you want something that's nice and indulgent it's nice and bitter nicely spiced as well I'm almost getting like impressions of an, an autumnal spice mix. If you're going to eat with something made with something like a, a nice rich cake, where you just want to purely indulge. And uh, yeah, I very much like this beer, as you can probably tell, because I've been going on for over 11 minutes right now. But yeah, Camber's Coffee Porter. Fantastic, fantastic little beer. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. I could have given this a 10 out of 10, but I think that would be very unfair because of my lack of experience with porters in general. I mean, as a beer on its own, I cannot fault that at all. But I think just out of the interest of being fair, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because there's not really too much that I can really compare it to. But all I'm going to say is Camber have knocked it out of the park once again. Check out the brewery. Check out what they've got to offer. If any of your local import shops or favourite websites stock any of their beers, I think beerdeluxe.de does and I think they deliver to the UK, then definitely give Camber a try. Fantastic stuff. I can't praise it highly enough. So that was a 9 out of 10 for me. If you haven't already, check out my Camber uh, IPA review down below. Uh, check out Camber as well, of course. And as always, when I buy stuff from Beretta, I always like to give them a bit of a shout out because thanks to them, I've experienced so many great beers. I'm just glad that I can experience German craft beer. And when it's done as well as this, nothing comes close, in my opinion. So anyway, I've waffled on way, way, way too long. This is going to be one hell of a long video. Check out the Coolest Drinker playlist down below for some more refined reviews. And until the next time, cheers.